Here's my call with a fake travel agency. Does anybody take a breath in your office? No, no breath. They purchased my information from scammers. And how do I know? Because all of my information is fake. Name, address, city, and state. So if you are Arthur Spinner at 21 Jump Street, apartment 4C, Sarasota, Texas. Whoever your company you're working for, it's a scam. They buy this list from somebody. That's all fake information. They're rude, aggressive, and flat out con artists. Make sure you do not get scammed by these guys. That might be one of the best calls I've ever had in my life. Hi, Arthur. I'm calling about the vacation in the past just doing some follow-up here i chose you never finish the vacation time that is going to work out a lot better for you anyway we're going to waive the extension fees and give you all upgrades for free so grab a pen and a piece of paper i'm going to tell you about all your upgrades okay so instead of the basic hotel accommodations that you would have had before we're upgrading you to the condo resorts we're waiving the upgrade fees and giving you everything for a one-time booking fee is this a real person yes i'm a real person and i actually take these vacations as well okay so, because it so sounded you, you haven't even these? you haven't even taken a breath yet honey i'm sorry <laughs> i just talk really fast do you oh need me to God. repeat anything slow it well, do you want me no. to slow it down? Um, no, I mean, I, I'm good. I'm, I just got a call from you, so I was calling you back. But um, I'm, I'm on yeah. the phone with a uh, with a scammer right now. Not with you, with, another, with a scammer. And uh, they're trying uh -huh. to steal money from me. Wow, that's terrible. Why don't you hang up on them and keep talking to me? So your booking fees would be just twelve ninety eight, and because you are a preferred traveler, I I've want never to talked with anyone to keep. How you. do you keep talking? I know that you've got the script you're trying to start and, and run, but all right, I, I, actually, I, I actually don't. I'm just talking to you because I'm trying to help you out. You paid money to register for this package, and no, I'm I trying didn't. to help you. I did not pay any okay. money for this. I don't know why you're getting I have sassy a big now. Red, I have a big red banner on my computer screen for your file that says expired sitting in front of me. So if you are Arthur Spooner at 21 Jump Street, apartment 4C, Sarasota, Texas, area code 34230, then that's who I'm talking to and I'm reaching out to you as a courtesy call. That's the point to the yeah, phone I know, call. But, but you know, you know how you guys got my information? Some scam has sold it to you guys because that's all fake information. And I deal with scammers every single day and you called me. I'm not saying you are, but you, whoever your company you're working for, it's a scam. They buy this list from somebody. I'm not a real person. I'm a fake that's person. That's not true, Arthur. You want to give me four minutes of your time to hear me out? They scam people a couple of different ways. Travel memberships promising benefits and kickbacks. A free vacation where all you need is a credit card for a verification fee. And what these guys are doing, offering upgrades, airfare, hotel, and entertainment. All of this for a vacation I haven't even planned yet. Okay. Hello? Hey, Arthur, my name's, hey, Arthur, my name's Matt. I'm actually a senior travel coordinator. How are we doing today, Mr. Spooner? How did you guys get my information? Well, Arthur, you must have done some sort of promotional vacations in the past, probably. No, probably you guys, you guys bought some. No, you guys bought some list with my name on it. No, Arthur, actually, you had to have registered for some vacation time. We don't pull your names out of a hat. The um, lady said, "I'm from Sarasota, Texas. I'm from Sarasota, Florida. Those, there's no such good, thing as great, Sarasota, Texas." Good, great. But your phone number is a Texas number, so it pops up as Texas. Now I have no, your that's, address that's, here. Uh, no, and my phone number is Austin, Texas, not Sarasota. So that's wrong. Okay, Arthur, Arthur, let's make this very simple. Do you have a pen and piece of paper nearby? Yeah, I have a pen handy and a paper handy. How did you know that? Okay. Can you see me right okay. now? So my name's Matt, M-A-T-T. -T. My last name is Quincy. I work for Travel Services. We are the oldest and largest fulfillment company here in the U.S. And we do direct fulfillment for over 250 different resorts worldwide. So platinum level number one, we start to all. Write this down, 36 months with 18-month extensions from there. There are no standard hotel motel accommodations with this. No double beds, no mini fridge. Arthur, you will not be making your morning coffee in the bathroom. Yeah, I want, so, I want, I want a harem of women feeding me grapes and fanning me. All right, perfect. It's only going to cost you a million bucks, Arthur. You have a black card, American Express. A million dollars? Are you kidding me? Yeah, you want a harem of women feeding you grapes? You better be a millionaire. <laughs> well, how Arthur? did you know that? 
How did you know I had a million dollars in my Roth IRA? Well, I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, if you would like to have a harem of women feeding you grapes, you better have a million dollars. Well, you said it's the platinum so, package that there's no mini fridge and I won't be making my own coffee. No, I said you won't be making your morning coffee in the bathroom, which means you're going to have a full-size kitchen, master bedroom suite. Now, I don't know that a harem of women is going to bring you your breakfast, Arthur. But I'm, I'm sure some nice woman or, or man is going to bring it up to you, uh, to your suite, or you can go down to the restaurant and they'll bring it to you at your table. Now, everything's paid in full with a one-time booking fee today as a very last and final payment. What that means is the only two out-of-pocket expenses you incur a family of five on all five vacations. Now, Arthur, with the Platinum Level Package, what I'm going to do I'm before sorry. I help you out with the $1,298 in booking fees is go ahead and unlock your all-inclusive options. You've been to all-inclusive vacations before, I would assume. Is that correct? Yeah, but how did you know that? Okay, perfect. Yeah, because you said you're a millionaire, so I figured that you, you've taken some all-inclusives before. So what we have, everything is covered for you while you're on resort property. Meals, alcohol, entertainment. From Does anybody place. take a breath in your office? No, no breath. So, Arthur... What I'm also going to do is I'm going to go ahead and apply your preferred traveler's credit to the $1,298. <laughs> Any questions, Arthur? Uh, what is the entertainment? Is this like, a, have you guys rented out like Chris Angel, the Master Freak, or is it a band? It depends on what resort you go to. I mean, say you go to Vegas or something, obviously, you know, you'll have all sorts of options with different shows and different things to do. But if you go to the Cayman Islands, your entertainment's probably going to be a nice reggae band or something along those lines right on the beach. I feel like you're the guy from the Fire Fest. You remember that movie on Netflix, the guy that sold everyone on the island and then you know, all the models and all that stuff. And then yeah, everyone so showed Arthur, up. Arthur, I feel like you're Arthur, that guy. And this you. is this is Arthur, your job I'm, now. I'm the rapper Ja Rule. I'm the rapper Ja Rule. Is that, am I that guy? No, you're, you're the guy the that, that went to jail and then you just got out. Yeah, and no, that's not, that's not me, Arthur. So, Arthur, I'll do another recap for you before I get served up there. Another recap? You're going to go through that very, whole thing very, again? No, no, no. A very short recap. Okay, but Quincy. Before I do, uh, for the final payment of just $998, it's covering you on all five platinum level trips, Arthur. Are we using Visa, MasterCard, American Express, or Discover? I have a $10 Roblox card. I'd be willing to... to hey, hey Arthur. Hey, Arthur. Did you think you were wasting my time or something? Because I get paid by the minute. No, so, I, I, I mean, don't. You're, 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 I don't, actually, okay. because you guys just so, called me. I, I, I haven't yeah, been talking. You're the one you, that's rambling. I, I, does Roblox card sound like Visa, MasterCard, American Express, or Discover? I've never is talked, it, it I've never talked to someone so condescending in my life as someone like you, Matt Okay, Quincy. have a great... Yeah, you're I the know, most condescending, Arthur, arrogant I, person. That's why I've literally... And you're Arthur, making a fool Arthur, out of yourself right this, now. Arthur, I enjoyed this phone call and literally acted like this because you've been a, a not very nice person. What did I say that was not phone. nice? If you want to talk about condescending... I mean, I've literally never had a customer as condescending as you in my life, Arthur. Okay, so you're, just, you you're just saying Thank exactly you. what I said? <laughs> what a numb nuts. What a numb nuts. That might be one of the best calls I've ever had in my life. Can you believe that guy? The Roblox card of all things set him off. I'm calling him back. This is Arthur's son. I want Matt Quincy. Put him on. I want that condescending... Fake closer, Matt Quincy on the phone. I know you're there. <laughs> My name is Matt Quincy, and I'm the senior closer. Hello, Arthur. Hey, I'm Give looking for call. Matt Quincy. This is Vivian Rogers. Hi, uh, is this Vivian? Yeah, this is Vivian Rogers. I'm looking for Matt Quincy. Okay, so my name is James. I'm the promotions manager on the floor. Oh, you well, I'm the, looking for Matt Quincy. Good what Matt. do you do? What do you do? Oh, he's a little tiny man. Put him on the phone. I know it's you. No, it's not me. Yeah, it is. I can tell by your high-pitched voice, Matt. No, it's not me. Yeah, it this is. This is Vivian Rogers for Matt Quincy? Yes. I'm, he's a very tiny man with small hands. How do, you, how do you know that? I can tell by your voice, Matt. What, what is the issue, ma'am? Okay, well, my husband just told me that some intrepid little man, some little coward named Matt Quincy was trying to sell us a package for $1,000, and then he's a condescending, arrogant man that, that gets paid by the hour. Okay. A tiny, uh, man, can, a tiny man 
with a tiny hands and a high pitched voice, and it sounds just like you. Yeah, I don't have a high pitched voice. I'm a baritone, and this it doesn't is not sound that like quirky, it. It I, sounds like every time you you talk, you're spitting over the microphone. Oh, hey, I'll pass that information along. I'm sure. Why Mr. are you Quincy trying to change your voice? Well, hey, Matt Quincy, why are you trying to change your voice? Because you're embarrassed. Because you're a coward, and you won't talk to someone who stands up to you. I'll be very happy to talk to you, man. But I'm not Matt Quincy. I can't. I can't really get him on the phone for you so easily. But I thought yeah, because. Matt opinion. Quincy's Matt Quincy's such a busy person in that busy call center that you talk a million miles a minute and everyone's yelling. Everyone's trying to sell packages everywhere. You get a package. You get a package. You get a pack. We all get paid by the minute. That's why we talk a million miles a minute because we get paid by the minute. My name is Matt Quincy. Yeah, that's pretty funny. I'll pass that along, man. I got to get back to work though. <laughs> yeah, Matt. I know, Matt. That was kind of fun. Matt Quincy. He's like, ma'am, this is not Matt Quincy. This is not Matt Quincy. What are you talking about, ma'am? A couple of red flags. Never start giving out your personal information over the phone to anyone. Beware of anyone rushing you to make a decision. People like this try to bulldoze you with information overload so you can't keep up. Last thing, never trust Matt Quincy. Become a member if you want to help support our fight against these scammers. Thank you so much and don't get scammed. <laughs>